Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Hot Domain Show. I'm Avram and I have the honor of being here with Sadden, Director of Organized Groups for Adopt a U.S. Soldier. Sadden, welcome to the show. Hey! Excited to be here. Uh, it's great to have you. So, Adopt a U.S. Soldier, tell us a little bit about that. We came into play after our founder, Ann Johnson, her son was deployed and he, she was able to see how little support the deployed soldiers got from him being there and how much of an asset it was just to have a letter from home or a care package and how it really boosted the morale of the troops. So we started this and we've actually been in together for four years and in that four years we have a total of 312,000 supporters spanning from 89 countries. We have supported a little over 100,000 soldiers and we've done it with only 35 volunteers. That is absolutely incredible. So in four years, 35 volunteers and you've been able to do so much. So yeah. take us through the site. Say for example, I want to adopt a U.S. soldier. Where do I go? You're going to go to our website which is www.adoptausoldier.org and you're going to scroll down in, a, in the tan area that says Supportive Citizens. Click here to register to adopt a U.S. soldier. And then that screen will pull up a pre-registration checklist. And when you go through that checklist, you're going to read through it. And then at the very bottom, you click on click here to agree to terms. Okay. So you have to, I'm looking through right now. And it looks like first they need to add webmaster at adoptausoldier.org to the email address book. Why is that important? Yeah. Well, we routinely send emails out to check in with our support with our supporters, and we also have to verify or ver validate the email addresses. And if it goes into your spam folder, you won't get our emails, so we can't validate your email. Okay, so that's an important thing for our audience to note. Make sure to go and to put webmaster at adoptausoldier.org into your address book. Now, as far as the verification email, how long does that take for it to reach the mailbox? As soon as you finish, you click here at the end to click to agree to terms, and then there's another uh, terms you have to read, and you fill out our little online application. As soon as you click the final button, you will get the validation email sent to your email. Okay, so there's a final button over in the corner that says, I have read and understood and agreed to these terms and conditions, and then you click on the register button. You click on the register button, and then the next screen you're going to fill out all of your regis the registration form. Okay. Oh, and you put a and username, then, a password, and yeah. all the information. Why is it important that, that all these fields that say required be filled out? Well, we not only, you know, we have our, the webmaster you can email, but we have a set of forums where our, the supporters can go and talk to each other and post topics. You know, they put together a really awesome care package. They can list in the forums what they included in it. You know, they can get ideas from other supporters about what their care packages entailed. It's really, it's really a cool place. It's just kind of where the supporters can hang out and talk to each other. Now, as far as care packages, say I, I can't really afford a care package, but I still want to support. Is there other ways that I can support Adopt a U.S. Oh, soldier? Yes. Definitely. I mean, emails are great, and just a handwritten letter from home is, you know, it's a, a, a big hug from the states or wherever the supporter is. Like I said, we're in 89 different countries, so we're a worldwide organization. But just a handwritten letter. I mean, we've had cases where the soldiers actually keep that letter in their pockets and they can routinely just pull it out and read it if morale is down and they just need a little pick-me-up. That's absolutely incredible. So just a handwritten letter. But let's say, for example, though, I wanted to put together a care package. How easy is it to do it? Or is it something that it's like I need to bring my friends over? and is No, actually I have some it? ideas for a care package right here. Okay, just different things. You can put some toothpaste in. Oh, great. Um, some of the people request candles, deodorant, 
uh, soap. Okay, some hand lotion. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have just like, just a sealable container of nuts or something like that, just for a snack food. That's brilliant. Baby powder, hair gel. And what I always tell people is we have, if you can see it, this is the priority flat rate box. Okay. You can send through the U.S. Postal Service. And, you know, I always tell people, fill the box with the stuff that you're going to send. And then instead of leaving open space or filling it with tissue, grab a pillowcase or, you know, a couple pairs of socks and throw it in there. Because they're always in need of sheets and pillowcases and socks. So and that's it's a, a great, great way that's to a great tip the right there. Space. Yeah, it's a really good way just to fill the extra space in the box. It usually takes between one to two weeks for the soldiers to receive their care packages. And you can order these boxes online through the Postal Service and they'll send them to you for free. Oh, okay. Do you have to tell them that you're doing this for the U.S. soldiers? No, it's or is actually, this... this box is especially made for um, deployed soldiers. Oh, okay. That's, that's incredible. And say, for example, I was a U.S. soldier. How would you use the website to go and to sign up to be adopted? All right, that website you're gonna go to the top again. It's in a tan little. It's in the tan box. It says "Deployed Soldiers." Click here to register for adoption. Okay, Deployed Soldiers. Got it. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click there, and then it's gonna take you. A, a, then a page is gonna open up. Okay. And this is where the soldiers can put their rank, their name, their address, their APO or FPO, email, and then they can just put some general comments there. And we love it if the soldiers kind of give us an idea of what they're in need of. I mean, some people want hand wipes, you know, where other people want board games or movies. So this is just a you know, place where they can give us an idea of what they really need. And then once we adopt the soldier out and give them supporters, the supporters can see what's written here in the comments field. Okay. So that gives them a better better sense of that. But how do you protect against fraud, for example? Through the validation of email, we don't validate any emails unless we know we're going to use them. And if we ever get a questionable email, we don't. We always contact the person before we validate them and send them out there and put them out in the open. Um, we also do we email randomly to people and that's another reason you know it's important with that you put your email on the spa on or webmaster in the safe list right so that we know that your email is good okay and that way you can receive the emails now right here's the thing worst case scenario someone signs up and they happen to forget that they signed up does that soldier end up with nothing no we give all of our soldiers a minimum of three supporters Right now, we have about six supporters signed to every one of the soldiers who have signed up and who are currently deployed with our program. That is absolutely incredible. Now, I heard that there was an interesting map located on your website. Uh, can you talk yeah. us through that? Yes, we have a map located on the main website where you can click join in the upper left corner and you can download a picture of your face. Okay. And just put a comment out there to the soldiers, and people would really keenly come on and just check the map to see, you know, where everybody is and what they're doing and what they're saying. So now, I heard that there was special news that happened on the Today Show, where there was a child and a soldier. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yes, there was um, a little boy, and his mother signed him up to adopt a U.S. soldier, and. The, the soldier and the, and the young boy corresponded through letters and emails, and the Today Show picked up on it and featured us and the little boy and the soldier on the on the Today Show, and they actually surprised the little boy with a with a satellite feed of the soldiers. The little boy actually got to speak with his soldier, and there is if you go to our page under News and Media, one of the links, you can actually scroll down and watch the Today Show segment. So you can actually kind of see exactly what happened with the Today Show. I'll let the audience explore that uh, themselves. I see you've been on uh, Fox News, and it looks like you're really getting all over the place. A lot of news, a lot of information that's really great to see. Yeah, we sure are. 
And I saw before, uh, when I was on the main site, a letter that was from a soldier. Where was that located and what is that letter about? That letter is, if you go to the main page, it's the tab in red just under where it says Supportive Citizens. And that's a letter that our founder, Ann Johnson's um, son, uh, Sergeant Doc Johnson, wrote to his family while he was deployed. On January 31st? Yes. And it's, and it's all handwritten, so you scan the entire letter. In addition, also heard you that you were part of a few uh, contests. That we are. are taking place. Uh, we sure are. So, what is uh, what is the communicause? cause? The communicause, cause is uh, the link to it is on our main page. It is an organization that comes together, and every year we have people vote for nonprofits, and whoever's in the top ten actually, our voting ends July thirty first. And whoever is in the top 10, one uh, nonprofit will get chosen at random for a $25,000 social media makeover. So we're, wow. really, we're really hoping to get up there in the top 10 and hopefully get picked. What are you right now ranking on that site? I think ranked number four. Number four? So you're, you're right there in the top 10. You're right in the running. We are. We still have some days, though, where people can beat us out of that spot. <laughs> so let's go and take a look at the rankings right now. Okay, there you are. I am pleased to announce you're number three. Oh, cool. It must have just updated. You are number three. So there you go. You were number four. You're moving right up there. And, um, oh, you're good chance for number one if we uh, keep, keep going with this. This is yeah. great. Also, what is I1? Because I heard I you're a part of that. Is a, it's a website people can go to. They sign up and they join our team. Okay. And they play, they're all free games, and they play, and then we'll get, whoever owns the most I-1 points at the end of the month gets a $5,000, like, mini grant. $5,000? That's, yeah. what? And, and that's every year, or how is that? It, it goes monthly. It goes monthly, so there's $5,000 up for grab yes. every month. That's incredible, and that's just for playing games. It's just for playing games, and the best part about that is they don't cost you anything. <laughs> it doesn't cost the thing thing at all. Now, uh, recruited members, you've got 481 recruited members, and you've earned a lot of coins. What does the coins do? The coins add up, and at the end of the month, whoever has the most coins will win the $5,000 first place prize, the $2,000 second place prize, or the $1,000 third place prize. So the coins determine ranking. Yes. And so place an I1 Team Challenge so that you're 84, so you're ranked 84 right now. Yes. In the ranking. So you have mm -hmm. to get, so that means you need more coins. So We sure do. <laughs> we have to get the people out there playing some games under, <laughs> under the Adopt a U.S. Soldier Team. Okay, so this is great. Is there anything else that we should know about Adopt a U.S. Soldier? Well, across the top of our main page, we have some different links where you can find helpful resources for family members of soldiers. Um, we also have an online store where you can purchase T-shirts with the Adopt a U.S. Soldier logo, coffee mugs, that sort of stuff. And we also have a tab where you can donate. And any monies that we receive that are through donations go into our fund. Mainly we use for shipping. But we also can pull money from that fund if we have a soldier who's especially in need of certain, a certain item and quickly, we can pull from that fund to get them exactly what they need. Oh, definitely. And I see you have also a uh, photo gallery. Yes, we do. And tell, tell us a little bit about that. How did you get these pictures? A lot of the pictures are shared um, you know, through the forums, actually. But where we get just our volunteer soldiers will... Um, will email us pictures, and as long as we have permission from the soldiers, we can post them in there on our forums. We also get lots of just emails into the webmaster from soldiers who have shared pictures, uh, or supporters who have shared pictures with us of their soldiers. Oh, so this really gives you a good connection of Yes. All you know, a lot of people have never seen what it looks like over there until they view some of our video or some of our photos, and it's really eye-opening for people. 
Well, I'd like to thank Sadin for having us go on the Adopt a U.S. Soldier website. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you want to check out Adopt a U.S. Soldier, go on their website, www.adoptausoldier.org. We'll see you next time with another hot site on the Hot Domain Show.